am still a little bit flabbergasted that there are 3,000 people in this world who want to listen to me natter on about books. I try that in the real world and people kind of start to glaze over, which is why I love you guys so much. You listen to me ramble, listen to me complain about cliches and tropes and books that annoy me, and listen to me get way too excited about my favorite authors. BookTube is probably the nicest corner of YouTube. Everyone is so supportive. I even know some of you in real life now. I love you all, and I look forward to talking about books for a very, very long time. Okay, so I thought to celebrate we'd do a little Q&A, so I asked for some questions on Twitter. So question number one comes from Sarah. What is your favorite book so far this year? Okay, this is a little bit of a spoiler alert for my favorite books of winter 2015 video, which will come out soon-ish. But I'd have to say my favorite book so far this year is Written in Red by Anne Bishop. This is a paranormal fantasy book and is just an awesome, awesome, awesome example of the genre. I don't typically get sucked in so hard to a book that I can't put it down. That's not really typically how I read. But with this one, I worked, read, and slept, and repeated. It was so good. The main character is a blood prophet who escapes a situation where she's being exploited for her prophecies. And the only place she can find sanctuary is with the others. Think the Fae, plus vampires, plus werewolves, plus everything that goes bump in the night. The characterization in this one is impeccable, the plot is magnificent, the writing is spot on, every single facet of this book is perfect. Okay, next, Simona asks, if you had your own love romance, what would you put on a book cover? This is a very good question, because as you know, I have big issues with the typical covers publishers put on romance books. I'll put a link to my Books I Love with Covers I Hate playlist below. But there's the flip side to that, right? Well, if you don't like most of the covers, what do you like? Let's look at some examples, shall we? Okay, this is one of my favorite romance covers of all time. It's for Just Like Heaven, the first book in the Smith Smith Quartet by Julia Quinn. This is period romance, and the stylized characters on the cover here just scream period to me, and wittiness like I should expect some Jane Austen or P.J. Wodehouse wit on this one or something. No bare naked torsos or artfully draped sheets in sight. I also love the cover to A Discovery of Witches. Never underestimate the power of a good font and a strong design. I don't really like photos trying to influence my imaginings of what the characters should look like. A bad cover photo can ruin my enjoyment of a character entirely, whereas a cover like this entices the imagination with its simplicity. Courtney asks, if you could be a YA book character, who would you be? Okay, so there's this series from Patricia Reed called The Enchanted Forest Chronicles, and they are hilarious. They're basically rewritten fairy tales, and Simmerine is a princess who doesn't want to get stuck with the restrictive life of a princess, so she goes to work for the dragons as a librarian slash cook. But princes and knights keep trying to rescue her. Anyway, dragon librarian sounds like a pretty good gig to me. All right, time for the lightning round. These questions are also from Courtney, so let's go. What's your favorite genre to read? Fantasy. Favorite book of all time? Jane Eyre. Favorite place to read in the beautiful courtyard at work during lunch? Do you like audiobooks? Only on road trips as I cannot read in the car, otherwise I can read faster than someone can speak. <sighs> Lastly, Wish Fulfillment asks, what would you like to see more of on booktube? I, for the most part, enjoy booktube just the way it is, but let's just spitball here on some ideas. I've always wanted booktube to do something like where one random day we all take thank you notes to our local librarians, or all go to the park and stage read-ins where we all sit around reading with a bunch of extra books and a big sign that says, come read with us. Okay, let's turn that question around. What would you like to see me do more of on my channel this year? 